awake on 2 HP like a mad lad. Because it is. Corn must have been looking down on us for that one because there was definitely <laughs> got a 90% cellovized. chance Zip Zap Zop was supposed to die there. With that string of luck, I was able to switch Ari in for Zip Zap Zop to predict another earthquake and started chipping away at the Altaria, which was not going to be yeah. easy. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her moves <laughs> even more powerful. Minecraft and I was dance. legitimately sweating. But with what little luck we had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance, and that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe that kill. If that Altaria would have decided to attack at any point, she would have one-shotted anyone and everyone on my Richie team. Thank you, Corn. You shined your photosynthesis onto us. From there, I was able to heal up Zip Zap Zop and Kill sweep the, the rest of her team. The sixth gym badge was ours. Outside oh. the safari zone, I found a dust skull I was able to catch. Oh. I tried to have Gary on the team since resurrecting him from the dirt, okay. but he honestly has, like, no moves that do damage, so oh. I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived Betrayal. in the club and I tried fishing on the beach. You betray your own fossil Pokemon? You. Why? You are. You are such a evil person. You're evil. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. For a Pokemon, but Chad punched the Whalmer I reeled up too hard. Why did you do that? Team Magma's base, and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the ground, an Electrode exploded and almost killed Chad, <laughs> which was uncalled for. Chad, sorry. After beating their admin, they escaped into a submarine, and I went on to fight the next gym. Go Kate home. and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late that I was just a tad underleveled for them. Um, they don't have. Any more I'll than two Liza. Pokemon, so I, I remember we should be one time okay. back in 2017. Um, 42. I had to go up against Tate and Liza because, um, my friend Kevin had the game since he was like seven, I'm not sure. And then, um, he I saw he hadn't, he hadn't been Tate and Liza yet during the Hoenn games. Like, I'm, I was four at the time, so I, that was my first time playing a Pokemon game. And he yeah, hadn't beaten the, all the gym leaders yet, so... I tried doing it one time, and he thought it was a good idea for us to catch up on it. Then he told me one time that he found out that he thought Tate and Liza was... The hardest gym leader in Omega Ruby, um, uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which I found a little weird because I did not know Pokemon at the time. I was four. I was young. I did not know what Pokemon was at the first time because I was never into Pokemon. I was not. I was never into Pokemon. I was into stuff that I used to think when I was a little kid. My, my imagination took me over. But, um, saying this, yeah, we weren't able to beat Tain Liza because I don't know why, but we just thought that they were the hardest gym leaders, even though they're actually not. Uh-oh, Finn and Zip Zap Take them down. a good duo being able to confuse and paralyze them. Okay, that's but good, Soul that's Rock good. managed to get off a sunny day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face. <gasps> no, Zip Zap Zop, no! Bubba really Mia, he sucked. melted. He put in so much work for the team and really carried us this far. The oh. rest of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. You Squidward came out vibes. and together with Sin, we're able to finish off the duo, Destroy getting us our seventh him. gym badge. Yeah, boy. All right, Sparky, you're up. Okay. Uh, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population. You killed every single water type! And Sparky. I went Even to Shoal Cave and caught Blubby the Spiel and went out to take on Maxi one last time. Okay. For some reason, I didn't learn my lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza because I was even more underleveled for Maxi. Wait, oh, what? Dear. 40? It doesn't go down? This fight was rough. Chad was able to take out his mighty Anna, but I resorted to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side. 
definitely have a really good hitter fighting type on your team. That will help. That would totally help. Here because Squidward was killed by a high roll <gasps> wing attack. Squidward, the no! works a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time, and it's kind of based on chance. So a random attack can kill you zero per zero point eighty five percent and one hundred and one zero zero. Yeah, Pokemon moves are based on chance. I remember a fact in, when I played Pokemon Sword and Shield, when I had a Cinderace, my Cinderace will legit kill anything in its way. Probably because it's weaker than it, or just, you know, super effective. So even though it looked like Squidward could have lived two wing attacks, Maxi was able to get a low roll on the first one and a high roll on the second which was the death of Squidward. Oh, but it wasn't Squidward time to give up. No. We had to persevere for Squidward. Ari came in and took yeah. out the Crobat and lived on one HP when hit one by the HP? Slide. It was a tough battle, but we squeaked by. Tom, thank Barely. you, Macho. After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were oh. just a bit more underleveled, we would have been yeah. murdered. <laughs> Blubby joined the team and we got to work oh. This is why I talked about Blaziken just the start of the video. Oh my gosh. I would run for my life if I ever seen Jaden with that teriyaki. Steven and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. So I went in there, walked up to Groudon, and master balled him immediately. Wow. There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. So While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc and Celio. Oh, that's good, that's Sin good. beat his win. Blubby joined the team and we got to work, eventually arriving in Sutopolis. Oh, I know Sutopolis Steven before. and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong Maxi. Off. So I went in there, walked up to Groudon, and Master Balls him. Wait, what? There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. Okay, that kind of makes sense for you. To, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because Groudon's one of the most powerful Pokemon in the whole region. So, it would obviously make sense. But, I'd obviously give it, like, you know, gotta get the strongest Pokemon to Rayquaza. I'm not trying to say it's, like, the best Pokemon. Like, Rayquaza is strong, yeah. But, there is other Pokemon that can beat it. Like, Mega Mewtwo. Wine X. I think. And, um, Zashin Zamazenta, I'm not sure, maybe, but, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure, but, if people who like, if people watch the video, please tell me who you think is the strongest, Zamazenta, Zashin, Mewtwo X, or Y, or Rayquaza still. While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc in Celia. Sin beat his Whiskash, hey! Chad finished off the Milotic. God dang, The team bro. was perfect. And after oh, obtaining our the, final gym badge, I Lucian. knew we were ready for the Elite Four. Oh, we Steve. got through Victory Road. Wally tried to fight us for the last time, but he just needs Go to die, stop. die, Wally. He exited the cave, and there it was. The final challenge. Here we go. Oh, Sydney yeah. was up first, and honestly, okay, he wasn't a challenge at all. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take care of his team with ease. Phoebe Ooh, wasn't difficult nice. either, with Sin and Blubby being MVPs. Glacio was a bit tougher. Okay. Teriyaki okay. was able to take out her Glalies. Whoa! So he could handle. Yo, that kick! That was sick! Nice try nice being the iced, I believe, four member. Her Celios, but her wall rain was the big problem. Wall rains are thick, can, can do take a lot, a lot of, of hits, and can do a lot of damage. Damn. I would know, because I have one. <laughs> I brought out Bobby. Chad and she was able to get in a good amount of damage, but she was ultimately killed by Blizzard. <gasps> Chad can't no! confuse it, but it broke through the confusion. Chad! Oh, man, I really wish I could see him as a flipping Machamp, but she can't, you know, evolve it because he needs to be traded. Oh! Chad! Chad the Machoke! Salute to you, Chad the Machoke. 
ended a sheer cold. <gasps> sheer cold is a one hit. You're kidding me! No, I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm out. No, I'm out. I'm scared we're not done with the episode. We're not done with the video yet. KO move. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level. Sure gold is OP. Dang! Well, not technically OP if a Pokemon has a higher level than it. It will obviously fail, yeah, but. I don't know what to say. Her ghost type Pokemon is dead. It's higher than the users. But even under all those conditions, it hit. And Sin was killed. Salute to you, Sin. Oh, man. She could have also had a Dusk Noir as well, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it needs to have a Dusk Stone for it to evolve. But. Bruh, that stinks. That stinks. Now she just lost two Pokemon. Sin and Chad. Which is bad. <laughs> Yo, I don't feel... I feel like she's gonna lose this right now, but... Yeah. She can, she can still do it. She can still do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Chad was with us for so long and pulled so much weight, and Sin got us through some really tough battles. Even with those losses, we were able to finish Glacia off and move on to the final Elite Four member, Drake. Drake's got a tough team, but we've got a blubby, and she wanted revenge for Don't her fallen me. comrades. She ice beamed. She swept him like a boss. That straight up mad. You're her. kidding. With that, it Drake is battle. done! Steven Stone. Oh, Steve. I was legitimately nervous. I led with Sperky to take out his Mom. Skarmory as quick as possible, and Ooh. Bobby was able to take out his Claydol <laughs> and See you later, Agron! Then came his Metagross. Oh, Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross oh, is no. Steven's strongest Pokemon. So you all know that for sure. This is bulky as, as heck. Before it started doing serious damage. I knew his Metagross had Earthquake, which would definitely take out most of my team. So, so that so that means it will take out Blubby. It will take out Teriyaki. It would also take out your Manectric, but it wouldn't take out your um, Swallow, a.k.a. Ari. But, bruh. Yo, if if she tried, like if Steve tried, like to use Earthquake, I predict most of her team would be dead. Teriyaki would be dead. Um, Blubby would be dead. Sparky would be dead, except Swallow. Oh, I had a burp. But seriously, Swallow would not, you know, would not would like would not die because it's a flying type. Flying types resist ground, but. Bro, I don't think that, you know, if she, like, if Metagross ever decided to, you know, you know, use Earthquake on three of her Pokemon, game over. She lost. It's over. I had to have Sperky Kamikaze Sperky? to get a paralysis off. Sperky, Sperky, no! And after a lot of hard work, finally beat the Metagross by space. Oh, let's go! Teriyaki was able to finish oh, his Great Elite. <laughs> his out. final Pokemon was Armaldo. Gary's final revenge. Gary. Jaden, what have you done? You took out Gary. You released it. You abandoned him. This is all your fault. It's because of you. Armaldo wants to destroy your team for getting booted from the team. I brought out Blobby Call because Bobby. Teriyaki was pretty weakened. And after Agent Power! She gets two shotted by him. Oh no! Blobby, Blobby, oh my god! So with a heavy heart, Blobby pulled off Blobby, her last on. surf, getting Armaldo in the red, and was killed. Blobby, Teriyaki, no! The Pokemon who's been with
with us from the start, who's seen her well, friends die yeah, in front of her. Yeah. OG you know, our memories. The memories that you have with Jaden. Come on. Onion, Destroy it. Corn. Yeah. Zip, zap, zap, yeah. Squidward, Chad, yeah. Yeah. Sparky, yeah! Their zeros and ones won't go down in vain. Destroy Steve! Kick to the head. head, and we did it. We yes! Let's go, Jaden! Come on, Ruby Nuzlocke. You Terry did it! Terry and Ari were the only survivors, but the whole team put in a lot of work to get us. Yo, Rip Chomps. Rip Bloombray. <laughs> we're not kidding. Rip Onion. Rip Chad. Rip Sin. Sperky, blubby, corn, <laughs> and chomps. <laughs> but seriously, gosh dang! She did it! She beat the Nuzlocke. Not gonna lie, GG. Not gonna lie. I know for a fact if I never, if I ever did one, I would probably already lose to Raihan easily. Because I. I'm dumb. I don't even know what to do with this. But, jeez. She finally did it. Man. I like it. To number one. A cheers to the true mad lad.